Okay, the first thing you do with these vertical towers is just put these pipes together. Just one slips right into the other just like that. And then what I'm doing is I just buried or drove one to the bottom of my grow bed. Made sure it was plumb. And the next thing I want to do is slip these uh, pipes down the these plastic pipes down the top of the steel pipes and these are just going to set the height of the first of the first pot. Okay, so basically the way this works once again, I'll just have this other one here just to show. You slip this over the top. Once you've got the pipes up to the height where you want the first pot to be, then you slip one of these little, one of those guys on there. And then your first pot goes on the top like that. And then you just stack the other pots on there like that so they're they're uh, offset that gives you four corners to plant in each pot now I'm just getting these over here uh, just have these set up first I just want to make sure I've got the spacing right before I actually fill my pots with the uh, grow media okay so I do have these positioned I think where I want them uh, the one thing I am not happy with is that these, these are going to be a little unstable, especially once that's, those are all filled with uh, media. So I'm going to see if I can figure out a way of uh, putting a cross brace between them and maybe another one between that uh, tower and the, the post over there. Okay, I think I got my brace how I want it. Uh, I think this will be strong enough to keep, keep these things from tipping over, even with a good wind. Uh, basically, I just Put a brace between the two pipes and then attach that to this post. The post attached to the pipes attached to the post and that should do it. So now I'm going to put the uh, the pots, uh, I'm going to line them up and fill them with uh, my vermiculite. All right, well I got the towers set up uh, pretty much how I want them. I decided to go only four high instead of five because uh, that's about as high as I can go and still reach the the pots comfortably for planting and removing fruit and so forth. I braced it in two places down here about halfway up and then up at, up at the top. That's just to keep the towers kind of together uh, from swaying in the wind. They're obviously very top heavy and that other pipe you see up there is a uh, one inch irrigation hose and the final step of this is to connect this is the hose I need to connect this to my one and a half inch uh, irrigation pipe that I explained before. And the way that works basically is I'll drill a pipe in the in the one and a half inch uh, irrigation pipe like this one, and then these things are made to clamp. Uh, that goes on there like that, and you can see that goes on there like that, and you screw it together. And there is a a gasket here that seals the pipe underneath, and then the three-quarter inch pipe connects connects to here to this like this. So that's what I'm going to do now. I just turned my pump off. I'm going to drill that hole and let the water. There's going to be some water in the pipe, obviously, that's going to be lost, and then I'll get this thing connected. Well, I got the uh, connection finished here, but unfortunately, I do not have enough pressure in my system to get the water up to the top. The only way I was able to get water coming out of the top there was by strangling the other valves so much that it was just going to mess up the rest of the system. So, um, it'll be back to the drawing board with this. Either I have to get a bigger pump or use a smaller pump and have two pumps, which I really don't like doing, but maybe that'll be the way out. And since I already have extra pumps, that might be the, the way to go. 
But anyway, at least I got the connections done, got the towers up and installed, and I just have to get the water flow uh, uh, amped up a little bit.